Today we're going to make our three best sliding knot bracelets. This first one here is a double knot bracelet, so both knots slide along the other twine to adjust the bracelet bigger and smaller. The second one is just got a single knot there and it slides along the other piece of twine to adjust it bigger and smaller and you pull on the knot to tighten it. This third one here has got two knots that actually slide together to form one knot. That's the mechanism to tighten this one here by pulling the two threads. This first one I'm going to make with the black twine, the double sliding knot bracelet. For all of these bracelets I'm using 18 inch lengths of paracord. For this first one I lay it down on the table with the threads overlapping on the top and with this left side being on top of the other one. Then I'm just going to hold it in my left hand and with this back twine, the left hand twine, I'm just going to bring it over the front, down and out the back. That creates one little loop there and then we're going to do the same again. So bringing it over, down and out the back to create a second loop. Then we just poke this little tail part down both the loops and pull it nice and tight. Then we just swap the bracelet onto the other side and with this tail at the back here, we're just going to bring that over the front, down and out the back for the first loop. And then again to create a second loop over the front, down and out the back. And then with this little tail here that just gets poked down the two little loops that you made. And pull it nice and tight. So you should have a bracelet with two adjustable sliding knots where you can adjust the size of your bracelet. The second bracelet is this one here with the one sliding knot that slides along the piece of twine. We're just going to start by holding this with the threads overlapping and this left one here is coming over the top. Then I'm going to hold my left index finger along with the piece at the back and with this top piece of cord here we're going to bring it down and around our finger two times to create two loops there and gently removing it off our finger and then we can poke the tail down the two loops and just pull that nice and tight. You should have a nice tidy functional sliding knot there. And last but not least is this adjustable sliding knot bracelet that has two knots that slide together to form one knot and that's how you adjust it. With our paracord for this one here we just lay it down on a table or something in sort of a shape like a U and we're just going to bring it around and form a little simple knot on each side. We're just forming them on the inside of our U, bringing the tail down and around one on each side and we sort of want to make sure that they are even about the same distance apart from the end and that will make sure that your bracelet's nice and even. So just picking that bracelet up and we're going to poke each tail down the opposite knot. So that tail down that side, that tail down that side and then you can just pull your knots nice and tight. That creates your little sliding knots in the middle there for your adjustable bracelet. It's a good idea with all of your sliding knot bracelets to just pop a little knot on the end of your tails so that they can't disappear inside the knot and it sort of makes your bracelet look a bit more finished. There's our three best sliding knot bracelet designs.